aphrodisiacs it's me Khadija so if you're new to my channel then please hit that subscribe button join the family and if you're already subscribed then welcome back okay guys so today's video is going to be really interesting because this is actually a wig you guys yes it is not my real hair I know it can pass for my real hair like my real hair in a twist out day four day five I'll put like a comparison so that you guys can actually see that but this is literally a wig so today's video is in partnership with her given hair I have been working with them since like 2016 okay love their wigs they're high quality wigs and they really strive to create natural looking units so natural textures they have curly coily kinky they have a blowout texture like they're really expanding their range of products so i'm so happy for them this is her given hair's coily headband wig and this is also in 16 inches i wanted something that was not too long not too short i feel like 16 inches is like my perfect length i'm gonna actually talk about the learning curves that i have with this wig and the first thing we're gonna talk about number one is you want to wash this unit before you install it so I'll put like a picture of how this wig looked when I did not wash it at first I really wanted to like emphasize that this is an on-the-go wig you can really just like throw it on put a headband and go and I still believe that you can do that with this wig but you have to wash this wig first okay if you don't the curl pattern is gonna kind of look weird it's not gonna look as natural and yeah you're probably not going to be happy with it this is the unit without any product so that's a learning curve as well this wig looks beautiful naked all i did was shampoo deep condition wash the deep conditioner out let it air dry it took like maybe two days to air dry completely along with the band third thing that i learned about this unit is that the combs that actually come already installed in the wig you do not want to install all of them the first time i tried out this wig i literally attached all of the combs and it was like way too tight it was very uncomfortable and i didn't like that what i have it on right now to make it secure is just the two clips on the side i don't have it in the front and i don't have it in the back another thing that i learned about this unit i think maybe this is the last thing Maybe this is the last thing that I learned about this unit, and that is this Velcro strap in the back. So I was like really not feeling this Velcro at first because when I installed it the first time, it got caught on the back of my hair. And I was freaking out because I'm like, no, like this is Velcro, it's gonna rip my hair. I had to take my time and like, you know, remove it. Thankfully, the nape of my hair is good no worries but that was really scary now what i did when i tried to play around with this wig again is i pulled the wig cap all the way down because you guys know if you wear wigs how that wig cap rolls up i think that's what happened the first time you want to pull that wig cap all the way down and while you're holding the wig cap then secure the velcro i think that's everything that i learned before i got to this point i did express my concerns to her given hair and i didn't know if i was gonna make this wig because i just wasn't feeling it at first but something told me just to try it out again today and i'm so glad that i did because this unit is absolutely gorgeous her given hair sent me some headbands to actually wear with the wig this is one of them so i'm pretty much just gonna go through these headbands and show you guys the different looks that i come up with if you guys are interested then definitely check out her given hair down below let's just get into the headbands mm -hmm. 